I'm testing out Thrivecart Learn today and want to take you along for the ride. I have a digital product shop where I sell copywriting and marketing templates and tools and have worked with multiple clients on building and growing their digital product offers as well. This video is going to be a casual review with my initial reactions. While I've been a Thrivecart user for years and love using it for my digital checkout, I really haven't done much in my Thrivecart Learn account yet, so you'll get to build this new setup with me. Currently, all of my digital products are hosted inside Thinkific, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna like Thrivecart a lot better. If you have used either platform, I would love to know in the comments which one you prefer, or if you're just shopping around for the first time. Before we get into the over the shoulder tour of my process of switching from Thinkific to Thrivecart, I thought I would explain why I'm doing this switch. I have housed my digital product shop on Thinkific for years now. I wanna say like two, three years, maybe even longer. Basically since the first offers were proven, as in people were buying them, I decided it was time to upgrade the entire experience and house it all in Thinkific so it would just be a really nice customer experience for anyone who's purchasing any of the products in the shop. Whether that is a course or a template, it's all in there. However, recently Thinkific changed their pricing model so it's actually becoming more and more expensive for me to house all of the products here, especially because of the way that they do pricing now, the more sales that I make, the more that they are taking. And because I'm a smart business person, I know that I want to keep the expenses down and my profit margins up. So I don't want those costs to keep climbing even as the shop grows. So that led me to exploring other options. And I have already been using Thrivecart for my checkout for a couple years now, and I absolutely love it. I can do an entire video on why I love Thrivecart as the checkout, but the main thing is not only like the functionality of building out funnels and that kind of stuff, but the fact that they calculate sales tax at the checkout is huge for me as a Canadian business who needs to charge sales tax to other Canadian businesses depending on what province they're in. That and the fact that it's just a one-time flat rate fee. So Thrivecart Learn is their learning management software and it's not new, it's been around for a little while now, but I recently started poking around and saw that they have done a ton of upgrades and I'm interested in switching now. Well, when they first launched, it seemed like it was pretty bare bones. Now it seems like it has almost all the functionalities, if not all that I need. So that's where I'm at in the process of switching everything over. And I thought, why not bring you along for the ride so that you can see the difference between the two as well. And if you are looking at selling digital products, you can start to get an idea of like how I set up the products on the back end too, because it's a little bit of a behind the scenes peek and just overall see what the deal is with Thrivecart Learn. So grab yourself a coffee and let's rebuild my digital product shop together inside Thrivecart Learn. Okay, so let's take a look around Thrivecart Learn. Uh, so like I said, I've been using Thrivecart for years, but this is like my first week-ish of taking a look inside Learn and I am pleasantly surprised. I started with uh, moving over one of my mini courses called Align and Integrate. Uh, I thought I'd start there just because it's pretty small. I could set all of the course settings and dashboard settings that I want and then use this to duplicate the next project from because it's so customizable between all of the little details of how the course platform itself looks. I wanted to make sure that I had the settings how I wanted it before I moved on to something bigger. So then this way I can use this as a base and then duplicate the next products from here. So I thought I would give you a tour around. Uh, when you are logging in for the first time, it'll prompt you to create a project. And so like, this is the project, the BizBar, my digital product shop. And then uh, I created a course within the project. Another thing to note is that while I'm doing this migration from Thinkific over to Thrivecart, I'm just using the free version of Learn. And it seems like that's pretty robust as it is. But the plan is for once I'm ready to move all of my customers over from Thinkific to Thrivecart is to upgrade to Learn Plus. And I love that it's like that one-time fee rather than right now with Thinkific, I'm paying monthly. And I think I mentioned this, it increases as there's more customers, right? So I want to be able to keep profit margins good. And so having a one-time fee just sounds so much better to me, even if there are some like different things about how this is set up or viewed let's get into the course that i created and then i'm going to show you how i edited it and what the preview is for the outside so let's look at the preview first the first thing is that i like that i'm able to customize this entire dashboard so once i have my other digital products in here it seems like there's a lot of flexibility in terms of like what i want to display on this page but then when you click on this course specifically we can take a look at that so this is one of my mini courses. It's called Align and Integrate, obviously, because it's up here and it has to do with uh, 
creating your ideal calendar so that you can have a more sustainable and realistic work-life reality. Um, but something that also like allows you to work less and make more because that's what a lot of people come to me for, right? So this is kind of like a foundational mini course. I love it. Uh, people seem to like it. And so that's like just the premise of what's going on here. So it was pretty simple. I organized it though, a similar way is what I already had it and all of my other products organized in Thinkific. Whether the digital product is a template or a mini course or a full course, I try to keep it in a similar setup. So there's always going to be a welcome and housekeeping module. There's always going to be something for additional resources or what's next. And then the individual pieces fall between that. One thing that's different here is that I'm able to set these uh, module cover images for each of them versus in Thinkific, it's not as such. Once you click into the individual modules, it shows you like the lessons inside and the number. And I believe you can remove this too, but then this is where I wanted it to all be the same and why I started with one, because I was able to set up like where the title is, what this is down here, what this button looks like. This is pretty standard for all of the digital products. So if I create this once, then I can duplicate it for everything else after that. Getting into the meat of one of these modules here, uh, this is like part one with the approach and the vision. So there's videos and links and to downloads and that kind of thing in here. One thing that's different between Thinkific and Thrivecart is that Thrivecart seems like it can't host the videos on its own. So you have to host it elsewhere, like on YouTube or Vimeo as like a hidden video. And then you embed that video in the course dashboard. Then it just means that there's an extra step by updating the thumbnails, which I think I could have done in Thinkific anyways, but these thumbnails were just like not, not great. They weren't pulling good parts of the video, but otherwise it's pretty standard. Like these are just text blocks, adding the links, this is where I set up the standard formatting that I want to have for every single lesson. And it's pretty much just like copy paste over like any other course platform. Let's look at what it is like when you go in and edit the course itself though. This is what it looks like in the back end. Uh, with the free version, it's all instant access. You can only do the drip when you upgrade to the Learn Plus, which I will be doing because some of my courses require that. But for the sake of the setup, instant is totally okay. But basically you go through and you add modules, add lessons within those modules as you need. And I like that you can drag and drop them between. So I can just easily move this one up here if I wanted to. Obviously I don't wanna do that. So I'm putting that back down here because it belongs down here, but it's super simple. And if we go in to edit one of these individual lessons, here's the same one that we were looking at the student preview of. So they're literally just drag and drop blocks, very similar to Thrivecart's checkout builder. If you're already using Thrivecart as a checkout builder, which I find it very easy to use. Same idea here. And then within each of these blocks, you can customize everything. So like this color, uh, the button color, the fonts, all of, all of the things you can make it all exactly match your branding, which obviously as someone who works in marketing, I think that branding is important. This thumbnail automatically pulls over from YouTube. So you don't have to worry about putting anything here. And then when you are happy with the page, save as draft. And it's as easy as that. A couple of other features that I like are that you can change the course layout. So I wanted to have the grid page for this one when in Thinkific, I'm pretty sure, or at least all of mine are currently set up that it has the sidebar here. So it's like the navigation is on the left-hand side here and then whatever the lesson content. So the video and then any text or whatever is on this side here. So I like that I have the flexibility to change these because I do put a lot of my other digital products like templates and that kind of thing in here. They don't always need to be formatted in that uh, sidebar kind of way. So I like this option. Another thing that I like is that I can edit the course content page. So right in here, like I can change the title here, put a different description. They have the progress tracking, the organization, again, all drag and drop builders, and you can put all of your brand colors in and it's super easy to use. I'm just going to save this here because I'm happy with how everything looks. And I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I can show you a little bit about what it looks like to set up a new course, uh, because I'm going to actually clone this one and start on the next one right now. So if you go to the drop down and click on clone, yes, clone this course pops up and then we can edit this to change the name. It's just in the sidebar over here, type digital product sales pack. Um, you have to click enter. I realized if you click away when you're done typing, it doesn't actually change the name. So it's just like a little thing to remember. I'm going to do this one next because I love this product. It is like everything that you need to launch your first digital product and optimize the passive sales. 
Uh, there's tons of templates in it for people who are setting up digital product shops or just selling their first digital product ever. And like, if you don't know, there's a lot of steps that go into that and a lot of copy you have to create. So that's what this is for, to like streamline that process, give you everything that you need. So I'm going to set this one up next in Thrivecart. This one will be a lot bigger just because there's so much inside here. There's things like uh, opt-in pages and funnel templates and feedback request forms and delivery sequence emails. Like there's so many pieces that go into putting together a digital product shop. That means there's a lot of pieces in the digital product sales pack. Uh, so this one will look different obviously because it'll be bigger, but the same idea and because I have all of these standard pieces here. I think it's going to go pretty fast. Before I wrap up here, I wanted to give you a quick little tour of what it already looks like in Thinkific for a lot of the products. So like I said, there's this drop down on the side here, which makes sense for some of the products because maybe they're bigger courses, but not all of them. So I do really like the like grid view that's offered in Thrivecart. This being the same as the intro modules here. And then if you click on the approach and vision, uh, that pops up. One thing that I don't like is that they autoplay, which I'm sure there's a setting I can change, but I have not figured that out yet and think if I can, I guess it's too late now. So they look very similar with the lesson title, the video at the top, the text. I've organized it to be very similar, but I kind of like the really clean, simple look that's over in Thrivecart Learn. So overall, very happy with it. And I think that I'm going to wrap up and get started on this digital product sales pack one instead, which I can leave linked below if you are interested in that. I'll also leave a link to the biz bar in general, just in case you're a solopreneur, freelancer, or service provider who is DIYing your copy and marketing collateral. And I'll link to Thrivecart in the description below if you're interested in using this platform too. So look for those and thanks for joining me.